Today I'm making a drip art heart inspired by the art of Jen Stark. First, I'll trace a heart shape in the middle of my paper. Then I'll flip my paper over and write my name on the back. Now I will draw some drip lines inside the heart. My drip lines are curvy and wavy and irregular. That means they're not all the same. Some are long, some are short, some are wide, some are thin, and this makes the drips look more natural. You also notice that they're overlapping each other. Now it's time to color my drips with a color scheme of my choice. I'm going to think about pattern and repetition when I color my drips because I'm going to be kind of doing the same thing over and over again. I'm following the irregular curvy lines with each color and you can choose your own color scheme for your drips. A color scheme is a group of colors that look nice together. So I'm doing a rainbow color scheme at the top here. Take your time and do your best with all these repeating lines because the neater your lines, the better your drips will look. When my heart is all colored, I'm going to get a placemat and some black paint. I'm painting radiating lines around my heart, starting at the edge of the heart and going away from it all the way off the end of the paper. And once again, I'm using pattern and repetition because I'm repeating these lines all the way around the heart. And the black and white against the colorful heart also creates some nice contrast, making the artwork pop. Just make sure your uh, radiating lines are as neat and clean as you can make them. And if you want to, you can also um, make a black outline around your heart like I'm doing. This part is optional, meaning you don't have to do it. If you just want to do the radiating lines, that's okay too. Remember to take your time and do your best. <laughs> 